In his first air race, Cook Cleveland flew this Corsair at 357 miles an hour to gain sixth place. Now Hobby King is bringing it to you. Could you guys imagine that though? You know, your first air race just getting out and just hammering on a Corsair. 357 miles an hour just getting on it. How cool. So, don't know what's in here. Super excited to give it a give it a look and uh, check out the quality. Not a big plane, but, you know, a little throw in the car and take it around with you anywhere plane. And who don't love a Corsair? Especially something that's a scale-schemed Corsair. And uh, nonetheless, a air race racer. So we're going to prop that up there, guys. And we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what we got. All right, so again, everything individually um, taped to the sides and wrapped, which is really nice. Keeps everything secure. So hopefully we have no damage. We have destructions. So I like these quick startup guides. If you're a guy that doesn't want instructions and you're like, bang, I just want to know throws and get this thing in the air, they give you CGs, a QR code reader, and again, you can head on over to the files tab on that product page on hobbyking.com, and you can get a really nice colored set of directions if you want to follow them to the T. But hopefully here, just playing crazy, you're watching this video and going, I got this. That's what Brendan does. He teaches us stuff. And uh, hopefully I teach you stuff on how to make your stuff last a long time. I know my buddy Dave is back there screaming, just get the clothes off already. He said it's like a strip tease. It takes too long. Thanks for watching, Dave. All right. So top piece is out. First piece we're going to get. Be careful with this tape. I say it in all my vids. Don't get the uh, tape on the plane. Now, this is not a white. It's not a yellow. It's a cream and a red. So in a smaller size plane, there's a lot of different expectations as far as what we're dealing with. I expect ease of assembly, some sturdiness, um, but also I don't expect plastic hinges and things like that. So uh, the first thing that we have here is a little horizontal stabilizer. This is uh, regular live foam hinges, so you can blend a derm tape if you want. What I've noticed about a lot of the small models is they typically don't need that. If they're bigger with a live hinge, yes. And it has that push-click type uh, servo horn. So there's that. And right out of the gate, it looks like we're going to get our canopy. And it looks like we're going to need to glue this thing on. So they have it wrapped. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? So they give you a canopy if you want it silvered out, and then they give you a see-through one. So that's a neat option. Um, for some of us, we have a backup canopy when we crash. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Next is the fuselage. Let's get this fuse opened up and see what we're dealing with in here. I, I want more so than anything, because with small planes, you can pick them apart. Oh, the quality, the paint line, blah, blah, blah. I want a neat flying airplane. So anyway, Lucky Gallon. You could see if you guys don't know, if you don't know uh, what that is, that's the wing foot logo there for Goodyear. So um, you got some bright uh, maroon paint colors here. Again, live hinge on that rudder. Linkage there already hooked up. Wing looks like a one screw kind of wing and have a little pull tab for the canopy. On the inside, we have an XT60 um, connector. Got a couple servo leads, a couple small servos. Look at that massive radial engine, guys. So that is... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a seven cylinder radial with Pratt and Whitney. I don't know what it is. No, I'm just, it's a foam silver painted engine. That's what's in there. So, um, rivet detail though. I like the rivet detail on it. Paint looks decent. Um, this would be a nice plane, maybe if you wanted to, to minwax, but um, I don't know. In a smaller model like this, would the two ounces of minwax weight be a big deal? Not sure. So this is the one where we want to be careful with this tape. 
as you're pulling the wing out, don't let the tape stick to the wing and then pull the paint right off. There ain't a whole lot here to this, guys. This looks like a two-minute assembly video uh, at the end of the day. So the wing is 38, 39 inches, whatever it was, 990 millimeters. Um, they tape up the connector, which is nice, so they're not beating up the paint on the inside of here. Um, we have some scale replica vents, uh, cooling vents right there. They got these little things over the top of the linkage because obviously we got a belly lander. There is no landing gear and we got plastic inserts for the front of the wing and uh, servos for the ailerons and stuff are already installed and on the inside got ourselves some plastic wing bolts got ourselves a prop an electric just plain old gray prop got ourselves our hub and that would be that so, get the box out of here. The Lucky Gallon from Hobby King. So, um, scale replica plane. Pretty neat. Not super big. Give you some options there. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, lay the pieces out. Let's get you down and do our once-over as always. So here is the once-over of the uh, Racer Lucky Gallon. So this is 990 millimeter Corsair. Two different canopies. All right, we have our uh, cockpit or the top of the plane there. They put a little piece of tape so you could pull it off magnets to hold that on. Just taking it once over to let you see some of the detail and stuff in the foam. Paint job is typical. You know, the foam finish is decent. Little electric prop on there. So it's not a $900 model, but you know what I mean? It, you got some rivet detail. Hopefully that shows up right there. You know, got a nice paint scheme. You got some designs. Quick linkage already installed. I mean, I don't, I don't know how we, we go wrong here. This should be a, a pretty neat belly landing, decent plane. I'm uh, looking forward to getting her up in the air. We're just going to throw a small ultralight receiver in here, little five channel, nothing, uh, nothing major. So let's get to it. And there you have it, guys. That was the unboxing of the Cook Cleveland Corsair, Racer Scheme Corsair. Uh, and that's coming to you from Hobby King. So with that being said, do me a favor. Click on the link down in the description below if this plane interests you or anything else that we've done from them lately. Head on over there and just see what they have. Maybe they got some stuff in the U.S. warehouse that interests you and you like ordering local. You can do that. So that being said, it's Brendan here at Just Plain Crazy. You guys are just playing crazy for hanging out and watching. I appreciate you as always do me a favor like share subscribe all the cool shameless plug stuff check us out on facebook and instagram on the official pages but do me a favor right now smash that thumbs up button if you don't want to and you're going to hit that thumbs down do it twice for me um, so that way it teaches us a lesson for sure anyway lots of fun here um, with that being said i wish you guys happy flights peace out we got to get this thing built so we can go made in it